All right, it's going. All right, awesome. Well, how was it the rest of last week and your weekend? Uh, pretty good. I didn't do a whole lot this weekend. I pretty much just did schoolwork trying to catch up. But uh, what about you? How was yours? Yeah, the same. I pretty much am just trying to get ahead in my classes. I have two projects due this week in the same class. So yeah, that's a lot. I was yeah. not smart and picked the last day for the group presentation, but then we have our final presentation on top of that. So <laughs> didn't really think that was through, but it all piles up at once at the end. It seems like with these classes. I know. And it's just crazy that next week is our last week before break. I, like, no. I feel like the first, how many, seven, eight weeks, I was like counting it down. I was like, oh, by slow. And now this slow. Mess. I know. I was like, is it already, are we already talking about final projects and what we need to do for the last classes? <laughs> like, I'm happy about it though. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to be back in like with all the AMBA people. I'm not going to lie. I like that a little bit. No, I miss like <laughs> having all of the same faces and all the classes and yeah. stuff. Well, it's a little easier like knowing everyone. I know. I feel like and uh, you can go to people like with questions more easily. You know. Yeah, I agree, and we all know what's going on instead of yeah. some people in some classes and some people in other classes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I guess like to uh, to start off, like uh, what is your role in this? Just uh, just kind of gauge it a little bit. Yeah, so my specific role in international dams is um, the chief negotiator. Um, so basically, I am in charge of coming to um, countries or um, different regions and negotiating building dams in different areas. So that's basically what my main role is. Um, okay. Would you also explain to me kind of more what your role does as well? I am the chief negotiator for the government of Taipal. I think okay. that's how you say it. Uh, and we are a small democratic country nestled in the Himalayas between Tibet and Nepal. I don't know if it gave you that information, but uh, I feel like I should tell you that. Um, and I know we are negotiating for the construction of a hydroelectric dam in our country. Yes, which I think if negotiated correctly, it would be a great asset to the country, not only to bring in some work for the Taiwanese people, but also to bring more energy and maybe even some profit, depending on where um, we agree on building the dam as well. Right, and that's what I, I sort of figured that would be uh, your main uh, your main objective probably is, is making a profit of the dealer. I'm assuming it would absolutely be not worth it for you all. So, yeah, for sure. Um, and you know, not only myself, but I think if we um, build the dam in specific regions, there would be a chance to um, sell extra power from our dam to um, downward countries. So, you know, that's that's something we'll obviously get into a little bit later. But yeah, right, that's, that's, that's another thing. I was, yeah, I was hoping to talk about. Um, so I was sort of wondering, did um, did it tell you about uh, the four different sites uh, that we're considering for the dam location? Yes, it did. Um, so I know about Andar, Bindar, Sindar, and Dindar. Um, right. I know that Andar is um, the smallest um, option and would provide energy um, for just the country of Tapal. Um, Bindar and Sindar, um, for me on my show, I don't know if you have the cost estimates as well, but they're pretty much the same in terms of cost estimates and size. Um, and then Dindar is the biggest. Um, however, that dam I know may cause some issues um, within some uh, trails or trailheads, I believe, um, within Tapal. So right. um, obviously, if that is an option we want to explore, that would definitely be something that I would want to talk to you with. So I wouldn't um, disrespect. So I was so I was told by my boss to um, pick one of the four to negotiate for, and I so I went through them, and you know I weighed the pros and the cons of them. Uh, for each of them, and I know I, uh, I narrowed it down to two. I narrowed it down to uh, Kindar or Sindar. I'm not exactly sure how you are supposed to pronounce that. Um, mm -hmm. I also narrowed it down to Andar. So I, I don't I don't want to do Dindar and I don't want to do um, Bindar because mm -hmm. my main uh, goal in this negotiation really is to um, get our president reelected. My boss. Um, it's not just the 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 dam and the uh power it'll bring and it's not just the, the people um it's mostly getting her reelected so that she can further uh 
her plan for this country and further improve, uh, you know, where we are lacking, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind me asking, what um, specifically are the main points, I'm not exactly sure how to phrase this, but what would attribute to her being reelected? What are the main kind of points about those two that um, would benefit her and her reelection? Well, in, uh, in Kindar, um, uh, it is a highly important political district. Um, and I think that it would be crucial uh, in her reelection if, uh, if we were to get that one. Um, so that is, that's the one I, I, I ended up narrowing it down to. I ended up picking uh, Kendar, um, but with Andar, um, it was another absolutely crucial um, political district. I just feel that um, with it being the smallest, uh, I feel like it would be more challenging to um, do some of the other uh, projects uh, needed it. I think it would be challenging to raise enough money, I'm trying to say, to um, help with new hosp help with the new hospital, help with the business activity and increase jobs. Mm -hmm. So uh, I ultimately uh, want to negotiate for uh, Kindar because I feel like not only is it an important political district for uh, the president, but I know that um, there's potential to make a lot of money down the line um, for uh, the construction here. Uh, so we could sell energy to um, China and India who are in dire need. Uh, for some extra energy. Um, so how do you, how do you feel about um, the situation? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, I definitely understand that it is of importance to, um, you know, I, I feel like from what I've heard from you, your president has been doing a great job and um, that the dam would definitely benefit her. So, um, you know, I um, want to also help with that. And I think from what you're saying, we may have some of the same um, kind of interest in Sindar specifically. Um, I feel like it's definitely um, a location that we could negotiate further. Um, and then in terms of kind of the range of what you were looking for um, in terms of pricing for this contract, um, could you maybe give me some specifics of the pricing that you were looking at? Yes. Um, so I would, uh... You know, I, I would like, you know, I know it's not the biggest one. I know it's not Dindar, so I know it's not going to be the most expensive, but I also know it's not going to be the least expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not Andar, but um, so, I mean, I I was hoping, you know, because, because with the creation of this dam, we, you know, in this particular district, I'm, I'm also going to need to uh, uh, fix the school system because uh, it lacks uh, money to implement a, uh, a school improvement plan and they have uh, the worst school system in Taipei. Um, and another thing is is that uh, our water treatment plan needs repair so that we can uh, guarantee safe drinking water to our citizens. Um, so I was, you know, so I will need some, some excess money in this, but at the same time, I know you all are going to need excess money because you want to have uh, positive margins, um, obviously, or the job isn't worth it for you all. So I can, I can sort of see it a little bit from both sides, I think. Um, but I, you know, if you, so do you, you want me to tell you a little bit more about my interest first before I throw out a, uh, I guess, a starting price? Yeah, absolutely. I would love that. Okay. Um, so obviously I want to get the president reelected. Um, uh, so technically, I mean, so I keep, I keep my job and she keeps her job and I feel like she's good for the position. Uh, we're very close friends as well as her being my boss. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just feel like that winning this des this district will sort of not 100% seal that for her, but it'll it'll greatly help her because she seems to already have Dindar and um, and Bindar in control, mm -hmm. um, and you know they're those are both pretty pretty big populations as well as Sindar. Um, so you know I kind of I kind of put Andar to the side because I don't I I feel like it's it's a little bit smaller and it's not completely essential and I feel like it's not going to be um, as much as you know have, have as much good or positives I guess in the future mm -hmm. um, but I um, I don't know you all's uh, you all's policy but I know that it is completely legal under our law um, for you all to um, for you all to um, help with her reelection campaign. So that was one of our things is I want 
some money, uh, possibly from you all for her, uh, some extra money for her election campaign. And I know that it is, uh, it is a, uh, I, th I feel like it will be in you all's best interest because if she stays in power while, while this dam is being constructed in, in Sindar, um, uh, it will help, it will help you all to ensure that you all are getting your money and ensure that, that the job is getting done. Um, so, so the contribution, uh, for the president's campaign fund, um, also, I also, like I said, I want excess money. Uh, uh, so, you know, from the dam, you know, I know it's a medium sized dam. I want to be able to make excess money from this dam, uh, in order yeah. to provide for India and China. And mm -hmm. uh, I guess you can go ahead and tell me some of your interests now. Yeah. Um, so some of mine, um, I think that we, have um, some of the same, um, especially wanting to um, make extra money from the dam. I think um, it would benefit Nepal as a country um, to build a dam in an area that could also produce money back from it and not just supply the energy to the city, to the country, excuse me, even though that is a great thing. Um, so I think that that is definitely something that um, would benefit both of us if negotiated correctly. Um, I also, you know, making a profit is important to both sides. Um, I think that for me, I do not want to overstep my boundaries and ask them for too much profit. So that is something I will try to be respectful of um, when we do get to that part of the negotiation. Um, but that is important to me. You know, I take my job very seriously and um, I, that is a big part of my company um, looking upon me in a positive way with right. the profit I bring in. Um, but obviously, um, I do want to maintain good relationship with you and respect you and um, your country and your wants and needs. So, and I want you all to, you know, and I want to main, maintain you all's. Uh, I know you all have an excellent reputation, which is why we're in this negotiation in the first place. Uh, and I also, you know, feel like if all goes well, I mean, we would absolutely. Uh, um, so suggest you to other countries around us who are uh, needing needing something similar because as I told you our surrounding countries need a lot of uh, probably need dams as well for hydroelectric power because we are we are all struggling I feel like a little bit a little bit in that area and uh, and also you know another one of our interests is uh, creating jobs uh, for our country's people but I know at the same time that that you all need um, certain managers who, who you trust and who are within you all, you all's, um, you all's business to be over there to oversee everything or else you guys might not be able to complete it the way that you're supposed to. Yeah. And that's exactly what I was going to say. And my next interest, um, was bringing in jobs for, um, the Tapalanese people. And, um, you know, like you said, unfortunately, being in the workforce in dams is not something that's familiar with everyone, but um, we do have people that um, we could send in. Um, I do have some great options that I feel like would really benefit um, the people to work in the dam. Um, I We can discuss that later on, but I do have some solutions in mind um, to kind of bring in people gradually as we start to um, kind of train the Tupalanese people and help them understand um, the working the workforce in terms of the dam. Um, so we can absolutely discuss that because I also want to bring jobs. Um, that is the main point. I'm not coming in here just to bring in all American workers. That is not my goal. Um, so we can definitely discuss that further. Um, and I kind of, I want to address um, real quick your interest of um, us maybe giving money to the presidential campaign. Yeah. Um, so fortunately, I know you said that it is well within your laws, but unfortunately it um, is against the law um, in America for us to give any outright payment to government officials or their um, like political parties or their okay. campaign or anything like that. Okay. But I do think that we could, um, we do have a social um, project fund that we have um, that we are allowed to use to give to um, outside projects. Um, and I know you mentioned um, the schooling systems and the water. So I think that maybe we could talk about um, giving some of our project fund to those specific um, needs that I think 
while not directly giving money to the campaign, but it would also, I think, benefit the president and kind of helping with that as well. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in discussing. Yeah, um, during absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that, that sounds really good. Um, uh, so I guess, you know, uh, going to the money side of everything, I mean, we were, we were obviously thinking that, that we should uh, pay you all more than for Andar because uh, this is a bigger size dam. Um, so we were thinking more in the range of um, somewhere around uh, $300 million for the, for the project. I don't know how that would be, uh, how, how your margins would be with that, but what do you, what do you, um, you know, what's your first, uh, your first thought on that? Yeah, so um, I think that 300 million, I mean, it is a, it is so much money. And um, I think that the offer is very generous. Um, unfortunately, on our side, 300 million for, did you say this was for Andar or? No, uh, Sindar. Sindar, that's what, that's what I thought. Um, so that would be our cost estimate for the building. Um, so if we were to accept that, it would not leave us any profit um, at all right. with, okay. you know, not well, that that's we good for me to know. Money. That's good for me to know. I have to have, you know, I have to have a starting point going into it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I completely appreciate that starting offer. I think that um, yeah. is a great number. It's just unfortunately not something that we can um, take right now. And I was, um, I was hoping I didn't lowball you there at all because it was, it was tough for me to come up, to come up with that first number with the uh with the information i have because i have limits set by our president but i didn't know exactly where you know obviously we wouldn't prefer to, to spend what is that what is that our upper limit but um you know um i also feel like it's a good start you know so yeah, yeah. um so i i would like to kind of re or counter that with um a number of my own um, I know you just mentioned that there were some limits set. Um, uh -huh. I'm obviously not aware of those limits, so apologies if this is just <laughs> extraordinary. No, it's okay, I have, um, um, so the president has uh, increased the amount that I am authorized to pay in hopes that um, the agreements reached are um, going to be politically beneficial to her. And as I said, uh, getting the dam in this district would be of great benefit to her, even without yeah. the extra money, which uh, I apologize for that. I was unaware that there were um, laws in place, um, you know, set um, in the American government uh, forbidding yeah. that. I didn't, I, I was not given that information ahead of time. Um, all I knew was that it was not legal for us. Um, but, um, on the other hand, I know that you guys also want the president reelected, so you also want this um, this dam to be done. So, I mean, I I was hoping that maybe you know we can uh, we can up that price, but what you know what's a what's a, a fair counter offer that you see? I guess. So, with considering um, a specific profit margin that personally I would like to meet, um, that I think would benefit me and the company, but would also help me make deals. Um, with other countries and probably hopefully would make deals with y'all considering the cost estimate and the preferred cost margin um, I would like to start at not start I would like to talk about 350 at my um, that I think would be most beneficial uh, for me and my company um, however that is with a um, kind of on the higher end of the profit margin that we see fit. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of throwing um, a high number out there just to kind of see where in the range that falls. Um, obviously, I'm open to negotiating lower. I just felt that it was necessary on my end just to throw kind of a number out there that is on the higher end just to feel for the range. Fortunately, I'm, I'm unable to, I would be unable to uh, accept that under our president's orders. I um, I can only, like I said, I have an, I have an upper limit and unfortunately that is quite outside our, our upper limit for what we're, for what we're willing to, to, uh, to pay for this deal. That would, uh, that would leave us with essentially no, no money for improvements and no money, uh, no money left over. And I, and 
as I previously have stated, and as you know from reading from reading this, um, we have lots of improvements to make uh, in our country. And although the dam would be generating money, we still would prefer not to be uh, not to be in the hole uh, to start off. Yeah, absolutely not. And that is not what I want either. So thank yeah. you for relaying the information to me because that is not what I want either. And I would rather make a good deal than benefit personally. So. And I guess since we are, you know, we both, you know, we both kind of shot, well, I shot too low and you shot too high. I guess meeting somewhere in the middle would probably be pretty beneficial to the both of us. But uh, yeah. I guess I, I, what about, you know, uh, around, so you, you, you mentioned your, um, can you talk to me a little bit more about uh, your, the program that you're referring to, to possibly help us with our schools and water treatment plant? Absolutely. So um, International Dams um, has a social project fund that we set aside money for um, to contribute to social project funds in other countries um, to benefit them and help with uh, their growth and all that. Um, so I could offer um, up to eight million to contribute to um, the schooling and the water system. Um, I think that which would if, which would fully which would would fully cover it on on our end. Um, and that would that would be ideal, and that would bring me to uh, a lower, or it would it would make me. Or sorry, it would make me want to pay you more for the job. Uh, yeah, should we get all eight million? Obviously, um, is that on the table? Getting all eight million? Should the money deal be worked out, or are you not able to get all of that? Oh, I can give eight million, um, but like you said, you know, um, obviously that is. It is a good portion of our fund, um, so I think that that is when we would hopefully start to discuss um, kind of a more, in, like in the higher range, um, if we were to give the full eight million. Um, obviously, I'm I don't want to walk out of here giving nothing, um, but I do think that depending on how much money um, we are able to profit, um, kind of contributes to how much money we can get from the social project fund. Just because if we aren't to make a lot from the deal. Um, giving away all of our project fund would not be in the best interest to us. Uh, no. What about, so what about we lower that from 8 million to 5.5 million? That would okay. uh, thoroughly cover our school improvement plan as well as our water treatment plan. So we don't need the, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't want you to use your entire fund on us. Um, I don't feel like that's the best like way to finish a negotiation between us and maintain a positive relationship between us. So, uh, you know, how does starting up around 5.5 .5 million on that sound? Uh, you know, and we, we haven't talked, I guess we need to talk more about the numbers, but how does that sound, I guess, off the bat? Yeah, I mean, we would absolutely be willing to contribute the 5.5. Um, you know, I know that getting the president reelected is a huge issue for you. And um, obviously we want to continue to do business within the country. So having the president reelected would definitely be beneficial to us. And we have the funds to be able to support those projects. So. I think that 5.5 would definitely be a number that we can put on the table. Um, okay, good, good. And so, I mean, I, I think that I should, um, I should tell you that I'm, I'm not going to be able to be anywhere near the 350 million for the dam site. If, if we want to, if we, you know, want to, I think we both want to walk out of here with the deal done, but how about I throw out, um, um, 320 million what would your profits be if you were to get 320 million from it um you said it's three million so you said it's three million dollars to construct the dam 300 uh, yes yes i'm sorry i meant uh, 300 million yeah let me just do that math really quickly if you don't mind uh-huh go go for it you said 320 correct yes and that doesn't need to be anything final, but I just figured it's a, you know, a good, a good starting spot to see if we can work with it. Yeah, absolutely. And that is, unfortunately, I hate telling you this, but that is unfortunately pushing my max limit already. I'm not, I'm not far, far below it. I, I really don't want, I, I feel like it's not in either of our best interests to give you that right now, because I feel like I'd be giving you a 100% power, you know, over this negotiation. And I kind of want to I kind of want to maintain a, a like a friendly relationship, and I, and I feel like it, 
it would not be in my best interest to throw out our top number, but I will say it's not very far off of it. Yeah, and you're no obligation to. I did not even want to ask about that. Yeah. Um, so I think that is um, a number that's definitely um, better for us, um, that the 320 that you just offered. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to explore an option. Um, so I know that, um, I'm not sure if you have this information, but I know that if we were to build a dam in Sundar that um, there would be opportunity to sell energy um, to downstream countries. Right. Um, I am unfortunately a little bit um, confused on if Paul would get that money or if our company would get that money. Um, I'm uh, pretty sure our company would get that money since we are the ones that constructed um, the dam. I'm unfortunately not sure. I don't See, know I was, I was under, I was under the assumption that we would get that money because it would be our dam afterwards. Uh, okay. Let me, let me uh, read a little bit more of my document real quick. Cause I'm, I am, uh, I also should know this answer and uh, I don't 100%. Uh, Yeah, I think that it would be after this deal, I feel like it would be ours to sell. Mm -hmm. However, I would be absolutely willing if the deal wasn't uh, the full amount we're willing to pay, I would absolutely be willing to possibly um, split that. Say we, we use half of that, we can sell half of it and then half of it goes to you all, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but what are you, what are you reading? I mean, what is, what is sort of in your document about that? Or is well, that Yeah, I don't have a lot of information on the, who would get that money. The way you describe it makes perfect sense to me though. I actually had the same option for you. If we were to get the money would be to kind of split the profits of that. Right. Uh, so, but it would make total sense the way you described it. So I say that for negotiation purposes, we, I, I would be selling it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I I think that's what I'm I'm getting from, um, from the president, of mm -hmm. our country. But I um. I think yeah. I think that that the reason that she wants this dam to be made in the first place is so that we can, um, uh, make more money for uh for other projects by selling it. I think that's a big reason why we want to why we want to pay. But I also understand that. Um, that that would probably up the price that you that you want. So, um, do you have uh, do you have an idea where you know where we can kind of kind of meet in the middle? Or how 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 would the three twenty million? How is it sounding to you? Um, it definitely sounds better than the initial three hundred. Mm -hmm. um, I think that in terms of just what my company is expecting me to. Um, producing profit is still a little bit low. Um, however, I do think that if we could uh, negotiate some options to add to that, it may be able to compensate for the lower profit margin. Yeah. Um, is that with 5.5 mil of the of the um, um, social uh, the social project fund? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so we're so we're talking about total. It would be 320 mil, right? That that's it, and then that would include the five point five, but that would be a little bit on your low end. So how about, you know, how about you know, for the sake of for the sake of getting to a deal, how about um, we keep the five point five million, and how would it be, you know, um, how would it sound to you to um, possibly you know work hard to get the to get the dam as quick as possible? Obviously, we we would want some type contract so maybe you guys would so I, I could up that to 325 okay so so let's let's up it to 325 right so hopefully that that's a better margin for you all I really can't go very much higher than that but hopefully yeah. that's a that's a bit better margin for you all with the 5.5 million that would also cover it and then we would be able to sell the downstream uh, or we would be we would be able to sell the uh, the power that we generate uh, and uh you know maybe a contract of of you know absolutely getting it done before the the election because we want to make sure that um uh, that this that this helps her 
So maybe a guarantee of that. I mean, how does, how does all this sound to you? Yeah. Um, there is, um, I don't have any limitations on when the dam could be built. So I think that it would definitely, uh, be a great possibility to have it done, um, before the election. Um, I think that is something that we could pretty much guarantee happening. Okay. Um, one sec, I'm writing everything. No, you're fine. And uh, uh, with this deal, uh, we would want to uh, 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 obviously recommend you all for um, uh, for other systems, uh, for for other dams that, or uh, for other dams around our uh, around our country. Um, but I mean, it, it sounds like we're pretty much on the same page. I mean, if if you're willing to uh, if you're willing to you know accept accept the offer that's down, I think that I think that I can make it work with the president. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there are just a few more things that um i think would be important to go over um especially the um employees that would be working at the dam um oh, I, I i almost forgot that i'm i'm sorry <laughs> no you're fine um i think that um you know like i said previously um the higher tier positions and tier one positions um are generally take some time to learn um so i do think it would be in the dam's best interest to bring in some american workers to work those um the tier one positions right. however we also think that um obviously we want um to bring as many jobs as possible so i think um for the first year or so we would want at least 75 percent of the tier one jobs to be american um but we would also bring in um to Polynesian workers to i would say kind of work alongside them and kind of be their um have our american workers mentor them and show them how the tier one job works so that there would be some uh people learning um you know as damn uh, as a damn um work right now that you just can jump in and learn everything without kind of hanging on to the rope. So I think that it would um, be beneficial for them to learn before giving more jobs in the tier one. Um, however, for tier two, because it is less than, um, a little bit less managerial, uh, I think that we could start the year um, or start the dam being 50-50 and then gradually move um, within the year two to 100% of the full to Polynesian workers. Um, again, this is just because um, we have to have time to be able to train everyone, make sure that everyone um, can do the job correctly. You know, working in a dam is not uh, to be um, taken lightly. So we, you know, look out for the safety of everyone and just want to make sure that the dam runs smoothly. Yeah, um, if I don't have any, any um, I don't have uh, really any reservations to that. Uh, the point of the point of it was. Uh, you know, to get the, uh, our type of these people, um, working and, uh, a hundred percent of the tier three. I mean, that sounds, um, that sounds pretty good to us. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So mm -hmm. yeah, that, um, yeah, that would definitely be something that, um, I think would be beneficial is, you know, to bring in a little bit more of the American workers at first, just to kind of make sure everything runs smoothly, but then bring in more of the Taiwanese workers to, fill those positions and kind of move, kind of push the Americans out after um, the training gets done and all that stuff. So I think that that would uh, run over very smoothly. And we do have a lot of trained workers that can come in and uh, help them kind of the ropes and all that. So um, yeah, so are we good? Are you okay with the numbers I threw out, which was the 75% American to 25% for tier one and then 50-50 for tier two? Yeah, I don't, uh, I didn't really, uh have much in my um, direction about uh, sort of, uh, I didn't even, I didn't really know that there were even tears at all. So, oh, okay. so this is the first time I'm hearing it, but it sounds good to me. I mean, I, okay. I understand that, that, you know, that you guys get things done a certain way and, and, and you guys are, are telling us that you'll finish at a certain time. I mean, I don't seem like, I don't feel like I should be able to step in your way on that. And I, I agree with that. So yeah, that's, it's all fine uh, uh, with the, uh, with the workers. Okay, perfect. So yeah. let's just say that um, it'll be those ratios for the first year. 
Um, and then I'd say by the end of um, year two, it would be uh, 75% to Polonies to 25% in tier one, which is the managerial positions. Um, and then I'd say by the end of year two, it would be 100% uh, the tier two workers, which are basically just the remainder of the workforce um, for to Polonies. I think that that would um, be plenty of time to train properly. And yep. uh, I think that that would be definitely beneficial to providing um, jobs for the country. Yeah. I, uh, that sounds good. To, that sounds good to me. I think, uh, I think I can bring this to our president and I think that she would be highly pleased with it. Okay. Awesome. Um, so, uh, the other thing I wanted to kind of, um, revisit was your, um, I don't know if it's still an option, which is why I want to revisit, of the split of the um, profits from the energy sold from Sindar to the other countries. Um, I know that you uh, recountered my counteroffer with a higher um, number for that. I didn't know if the splitting of the profits was still on the table or if that kind of disappeared with the higher. Reading um, more depth into, into my directions, I, I think that we're, I think that that money is, I think that we're going to need that money. And I don't think that our, okay. that our president is going to be so willing to do that. And I think I misread partially. So I apologize for that. Oh, no, you're completely fine. I appreciate the clarification. Um, so I think that, you know, obviously, um, we are very excited to do business with y'all. Um, I think that, you know, because the president has such a big influence on the country, I think that our um, company would very much appreciate just, um, you know, the recommendations um, for uh, building in other countries, neighboring countries, you know, countries that um, y'all have good relationships with, um, you know, as well as, um, any other projects that are needed. I think that um, maybe we could negotiate kind of, not a contract, but, you know, kind of just like a gentleman's agreement, so to yeah. speak, yeah. that um, any other projects to be constructed um, that our company could assist with that we would be the first um, place that y'all look. I think 100%. Would... Uh, I, can, I can guarantee that. A gentleman's agreement, but I can guarantee that, and we could write that up in a contract should you want. But I... Uh... I 100% can can guarantee you that, and I, I think yeah. that we, I think that we have a pretty good deal right here on the table. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, just to kind of restate everything, so um, three twenty five would be the price of the contract, correct? Mm -hmm. okay, I'll just retake my notes of all of this. You're good. All right. So yes, yeah, so the 325. Um, and then we would be providing a uh, 5.5 for y'all to use for the schools and the water systems from our social project fund, which we are more than happy to do. We are it's very- 5.5, right? Yes, 5.5. Yep. Um, all right, so that looks good. Um, and then we have the worker um, agreements for the 75 to 25 ratio for the first year. Um, and then moving towards uh, 75, 25 in favor of y'all by the end of year two, as well as 100% of the workforce being to Polonies by the end of year two as well, correct? Yes. Perfect. Um, and then I know I'm saying year two, but by the end of year one, we also hope to have um, obviously more tier two jobs being to Polonies. It could even be 100% by the um, end of year one, it just kind of is a matter of how fast we can train and how comfortable we feel kind of um, letting the colony workers take over. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm just kind of skimming one more time, making sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> Right, it seems that we have covered the main points. Well, I think that what we have on the table is very, um, I think it's very beneficial to both parties. Um, I think that my company will definitely be 
pleased with this and um, pleased to know that um, we have kind of a bond with right. y'all. It's been see. a pleasure it's doing business with you. Project. Yes, I think this went very smoothly. Um, and again, we wish your president all the luck in her reelection. Hopefully um, our donation to those funds and projects can hopefully boost her a little bit. And I think that the dam is going to be very successful and also help generate some of the income. Yeah, um, yeah I think that this went very well and I'm very pleased with it. All right, that sounds good.